know, when it comes to worship, um, you know, music is one thing. Music is amazing. You know, music enables us to communicate things in us that we could never communicate otherwise. Um, it paints pictures in your soul, in your, in your mind. Um, but music for music's sake, oh, that's great, and created by God, but I believe it was really the highest purpose of it to carry and communicate the presence of God. And, you know, so when I'm involved in it to that end, I mean, I grew up singing jingles, you know, I could Diet Coke ads and, you know, <laughs> McDonald's and, and I, and I love that. I saw it as a, actually a great, you know, uh, I was really blessed by being able to do that. But once I started engaging my heart in the worship of God, I just go, well, that's purely music, that part. But when you're involved in something that is so holy and right from Genesis, I mean, the first time we hear about worship is in Genesis 4, and there's a fight over it. I mean, there's always been a battle over worship and then when you see the word worship right throughout to Revelation it always involves that word truth you go wow okay so there's a lot that we can do that possibly doesn't involve the truth of our hearts and God's going much more than your cleverness and your amazing licks which I gave you anyway because I'm your awesome creator God I want your heart that's what I want and that's actually the only thing that tips it from music to worship. It's what's coming out of here. He's asking for more. He wants more than our music or our great ideas. He wants this. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>